Mage Cannoneer is one of the new classes unlocked after you complete the Wave 4 DLC, Felzenalog. Instead of seals, you can transfer into this class by using a special item. You need the Mage Cannon. You get one for beating the DLC campaign, and then you can buy them from the shop for 90,000 gold, or 63,000 if you have the silver card. So you'll have to choose wisely as to who gets to carry the cannons. Now as to Mage Cannoneer Fundamentals, their class growths are 15% HP, 10 Strength, none in Magic, 15 Dex, 5 Speed, 20 Defense, 5 Res, 10 Luck, and 10 Build. Damage is scaled based on Dex instead of Strength or Magic. The Accuracy Formula is Weapon Hit plus your Dex plus Strength plus Build plus any Support Bonuses. You then subtract 10 Hit for each space beyond a range of 3. The weapons all have a range of 3 to 8. So at maximum range of 8, you'll be 5 spaces beyond 3, so you'll have minus 50 hit. Their class skill, Let Fly, lets you use a guaranteed hit, area of effect attack, at the start of the next player phase, but it will consume your currently used weapon. That's likely why they're so cheap to buy and can't be refined. Since damage output isn't based on strength or magic, you might be able to look at some less popular units that you might have benched, like Boucheron since he has amazing decks and build, or Banette. I think mathematically, Panette will have the highest accuracy in this class just based on her stat growths, and Boucheron has the highest potential for damage output since he has the highest dex growth out of anyone. When it comes to weapons, Mage Cannoneer gets interesting. You can't refine them since the class skill consumes weapons, but you can buy an infinite number of them from the armory, and they are affordable. Keep in mind that the inventory of blasts will open up as the story progresses you won't have access to all of them right away, evidenced by my current save where I'm only at chapter 8 and I only have access to the standard and magic blasts, with a venom blast kindly being placed into my inventory for me. Mage cannoneers are kind of like Batman in that you can bring equipment that will suit the chapter you're going into based on what units you can anticipate, or you can swap out your weapons with a convoy unit mid-battle, in comes the enchanter. So there's quite a bit of strategic planning you can do with the cannoneer. As for emblem pairings, there's not too many that stand out to me immediately, which would make sense since no other class is really effective at the kind of ranges that mage cannoneers are, so it makes sense that not all emblems synergize that well with them. I've liked using Edelgard since her stat boosts are in strength, dex, and defense, two of them being primary to accuracy and one of them scaling your damage. It was also interesting to know you can use the Cambits at range so you can throw fire down range or you can do some distance poison crowd control and then switch to the engage skills and combat arts if you need to get a little bit closer to enemy units. Mage Cannoneer is the perfect unit to use Veronica's contract on because of their range they'll likely be able to hit another enemy without having to move or to receive a dex instruct bonus since that's going to directly impact their damage output. There are already some pretty crazy broken builds out there with using reprisal and holdout to output massive amounts of damage. Even if they can't output that much damage in a sort of support role, you can go ahead and use the Venom Blast to apply a full 3 stack of poison onto enemies which would help prep bosses for your other allies or just help another unit get the kill where they otherwise wouldn't. So let me know in the comments who you're giving your mage cannon to and how you plan to use them.